hello, 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 familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Chan. And if you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here. Having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to all these the booty. So you guys, I am, this hair look, it's just popping out. Should I just yank it off? We have a new foundation. I haven't reviewed a foundation, I feel like in a minute. So About Face is a, a new brand at Ulta Beauty. The founder of About Face is, is Halsey, the singer. And I like that this is called the performer foundation because base makeup is important. I feel like most people do a base makeup as opposed to like a cut crease eyeshadow, you know? I just did my skincare about, I don't know, a while ago. Oh, we want your skincare to absorb into your skin before you go on with the next step. So this looks like it's a water-based primer. Let's use this primer. This is a water-based primer from e.l.f. Sticky primers, you typically want to press into the skin, not rub. I've rubbed before because I forget, but you want to press in. Makeup on top of this primer, applying it this way will apply a lot better. You see? And you see that stickiness right there? So let's let this dry down for a little bit. Look at these. Aren't these so cute? So online, the shades are very strange. They didn't, they don't, Blah, blah, blah. They don't photograph as well as what I see in person. When I went to Ulta, they did not have the display out. I just checked what stores had it. So the girl told me that the display isn't coming out until another couple weeks. So this is the shade M2 Neutral. I have a neutral undertone. I'm a true neutral undertone. I feel like the undertone, they didn't hit me as much as I wanted it to, especially when a brand has 45 shades. Although I wasn't able to look at the display and really see all the shades. I can only go off of these two I have. And also I don't think the pictures made it much justice because when I saw these, I'm like, okay, these are okay. This packaging though, look at this. It is so pretty and it's $22. Vamos a ver. Oh, it has like a doe foot. Ooh, okay, this is nice. I like doe foot foundations like this because you can really control how much foundation you add when you add it i feel like it adds it in a thin layer so let's actually swatch medium too it's a little warm for it to be neutral but it may oxidize you know olive looks really olive m2 olive which is nice i really ooh, like that we have an olive Oh, olive looks good too. I'm not olive though. Well, it's weird. I'm kind of olive, but not really. No, you see how this neutral is just melting into the skin? Olive is a little bit green, which that's the undertone. I can get away with olive, but my primary undertone is neutral. In person, it looks so much better. Let me just kind of remove that there. You would think like I would be ready all the time, but I'm not. Okay, let's start. Okay, now we're nice and tacky. We're nice and tacky. Let's kind of, oh, this is pigmented. We got pigment here. So I'm gonna use a brush today. We're already using it. Okay, it's blending out nicely. It says it's supposed to be a second skin. It's very blendable, that's very nice. I did let it sit maybe about 30 seconds. You guys know me, I like to let things sit a little bit, especially cream products. They do adhere to the skin very nicely. It's hydrating too. You can tell just how the skin looks. I would say it's a medium coverage. You can see my manchas here. Typically, I like to get those covered up immediately. Let's cover these bad boys up. And the way you do that is you'll let this really sit. Now that we know what we're working with, I'll let it sit like a little bit. It's lightweight. I would say it's probably like a foundation skin tint hybrid. Let me swatch the other one and let's leave these here i feel it being like more gel than cream maybe like something right in the middle this is dried down now let's blend one more time as i'm blending i'm tapping in i don't ever rub that removes product removes coverage and it can create streaks so we want to avoid that i'm blending this first and then blending the cheeks last just so it dries down even more it doesn't dry down where you can't not moving oh my god my brow i got that coverage with that second layer very natural very lightweight mm -hmm. yeah what you think let's turn off yeah it's very like skin like i mean skin tint like i'm going to apply this side and give you all the info about this foundation the new about face the performer skin focused foundation retails for 22 dollars. it comes in 45 shades i have two shades m2 olive and m2 neutral this is a buildable breathable medium coverage that delivers a long wear second skin finish coverage meets skincare in this skin optimizing foundation formula 
formulated with powerful ingredients like blue agave, winter green, and chilorella, known to help skin feel moisturized, balanced, and smooth. This is vegan and cleanly formulated. Very second skin like. It's wet, it's hydrating, it's not dry down. Look at these swatches. Seems as though it dries down onto the skin well. You see how it's no longer as hydrated, hydrating, hydrated looking? Is that what I'm trying to say? The pigment kind of went away. Disperses. Oh wait, it's very, um, kind of becomes, it does have that jelly feel. Mm-hmm. The consistency definitely is very different from what I'm used to. It is 1034. Anytime you apply your foundation, it does help for you to let it dry down. You don't have to wait 10 minutes. You could wait a minute or two, but it just helps to really adhere onto the skin. And this also helps for longevity. So BRB. I sure was daydreaming. It's 1051. Yeah, dry down with skin warm. I don't know the pigment. It looks like the pigment became a little better. This looks like it's not gonna move. You could just tell by like how it adheres to the skin. We kind of saw that with the swatch. Apply concealer, come back, and then we'll continue. You guys already know how obsessed I am with this peach pie powder from Huda Beauty. We're gonna grab some. Set the skin down well. You guys know I have oily skin. We can't have this foundation moving and grooving, especially because it's hydrating. I'm pressing the powder in to set it well. It's setting very nicely, so we could take a good look. Yeah, it's natural. It's like a natural look. This is looking really good. I was just kind of thinking of the coverage. I'm like, I want something that has coverage. You know, I'm a full coverage gal. And I don't necessarily need like a full, full coverage foundation, but I need it to provide coverage. All right, so let's finish up the face, speed it up, and I'll be back. I am ready, ready. You see this hydration we got going on? Everything applied nicely, nothing patched up, nothing was weird. For some reason, I'm still iffy about this. I like how everything looks though. Maybe I'm like kind of turned off by just the shade range that it's a little funky, but looking at the skin right now, we look good. But you guys know we're gonna do an all day wear test. This lip combo is good too, I'm talking about. So it's makeup forever. I was kind of going for like a mauve, versatile, versatile, versatile chestnut, worthy lipstick from Rare, Fussy Heat number two from Fenty. Let's go around the window so we can see how this looks. And see you later, everybody. Skin's looking like skin. It looks really good. The coverage looks great. I like this hydration we have going on. It's perfect for anyone that has dry skin. And it helps us with oily skin because I do use a lot of powders, especially because we like to wear our makeup on all day long. And this shade, I really, really like. Especially because when I first looked at the shade ranges, I was like, girl. All right, let's see how it wears. I'm back. It is 9.30. We've had the foundation on 11 hours with no touch-ups. You know, I got some footage for you close to 5 o'clock. And to my surprise, oh my gosh, this skin was looking amazing. It was a little bit glowy, but nothing too bad. Skin looking radiant, very skin-like, very beautiful, very healthy looking. Definitely oilier because you see all of this. But that always happens, especially because I don't tap my face. I don't ever touch up. You know how it is over here. Let me see. Damn, it looks good. This foundation really adheres to the skin. It promotes that longevity. It looks beautiful. I feel like it's breaking up a little bit like at my eyebrow area. Nothing too bad. My nose, I'm really surprised how good it is. Especially that's like the oiliest part of my face. So wow. Overall, I definitely don't look gastada. You know that is always the goal here. And I'm very pleasantly surprised how well it performed. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I was thinking yesterday or today or last night. I don't know when. You know how day two I usually don't prime? Let's prime one side because I want to see how this foundation, since it looks like it's a water-based foundation, works with a silicone-based primer. I really love this primer. It's one of my favorites. It needs some dry time. You could do your eyebrows. You can go make your coffee. You know, things to do while we wait around. So BRB. It's been about five minutes. Start off with the non-primer side. Yesterday, 
yesterday we did see that we have to give it some time to dry what i don't like is when you pull this out some of it kind of burst out so that could be messy and it could get like on your clothes and stuff actually let's just add it all over i must blend it out with the sponge we know that the sponge will give us more of a lightweight natural coverage than a brush that would give us more of a full coverage look i'm just gonna tap my sponge is a little damp it's not wet wet having a wet sponge will completely pull your makeup off so you always want to squeeze that water out i'm curious to see how it works with no primer it looks super natural here's the primer side no primer side this one's not as radiant as this side slightly nothing too drastic you know with this foundation it's buildable i like more coverage if you like coverage like this lightweight skin like you can definitely leave it like this but you know i need more coverage i'm just gonna concentrate that product there and here around the mouth yesterday i did find like it was i think it was me though i didn't blend it correctly so i really want to get close to this my mouth today i'm definitely seeing that jelly look that i was telling you if a gel and cream had a baby it would be this if you want to really tap and take your time the thing about blending when you're blending it you're placing it on and this is just how it's going to sit on your skin so you're creating a solid base when you are blending okay and it is 8 30 you guys know we're gonna sit around and wait it doesn't feel as hydrating on the primer side one of the keys of this foundation is to really let it dry down it locks it in it is 8 50 been 10 minutes right on the dot it feels hydrating with the time given it dries down therefore you don't have that much of a glowy look not bad but it's just something you know para vigilar okay we're getting similar results from yesterday so pulling out the good old faithful dermablend loose setting powder to set to the skin you guys know this is my jam so finely milled it sets all day it's not matte but it's not glowy it's amazing so of course i'm just gonna work it in really press this in so the foundation is locked in all day look this powder it just always does what it's supposed to do so this is the primer side this side looks smooth like really smooth no primer side not bad you know so what i'm gonna do is finish up the face brb all done you guys my under eye is janky right here look at this the whole spot is like gone we're not gonna have a bad makeup day we're gonna act like this is not happening because this skin is looking so freaking good i just like how the skin looks because it still looks like skin but it looks like we have pigment also and look nothing's breaking apart my mouth is looking better from yesterday you couldn't see it yesterday because it wasn't that visible but yeah looks good looks good let's look at the primer versus no primer primer looks super smooth right here here looks smooth but not as smooth if i get really really close a primer works though i am a primer user and i do find that primer does make a difference on how your makeup lays on the skin especially it being a silicone based Primer. My lip combo, I love this punchy shade from Maybelline 120 and then outlined with Limitless Brown. I like this combo. It's one of my faves. Girl, look. So this is the primer side. No primer side. Really now I can't really tell a difference if you look from far. But the primer really comes in clutch during the wear test and skin warm. So we'll see. Kind of reminding me of the REM Beauty Foundation with just less pigment. This one's thinner in texture, but the finished look looks very similar to the REM foundation. So let's see. Like it is 8:20, you guys. This foundation has been on for 12 whole hours. But you know, I got some footage for you. I think at around four o'clock, and both sides were looking good. Skin was looking fantastic. The side with primer looks good. I didn't see much of a difference, honestly, from the other side with no primer. They both look about the same. I do have a bit of a radiant look because that's kind of how we started, and this is that type of foundation. This is the side with primer wow surprisingly good <laughs> this is the side with no primer damn this also looks good it is yeah it is the dry down time it hugs the skin which makes this foundation really last long there are some foundations that do this i find that this one does that very well it really just grabs onto the skin at first i didn't think that was going to be a good thing just because i felt like it absorbed too much and then like the pigment faded but because it's buildable that's what makes this foundation very very nice you can really build it 
that you can have a skin tint like look or you can have a full coverage look because of that reason I will say this is a yes it's only $22 it performed well with a water-based primer and a silicone based primer and no primer yeah okay Halsey she did the damn thing with this look let me know your thoughts have you seen this around are you planning on getting it I love how the skin looks it just looks like your skin but better I love you guys so much thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and I'll see you in the next one bye